Hi there, today we've got a super exciting video. It was recently my birthday and I got a load of art supplies and I also got a Jackson's gift card. The package has arrived, let's unbox it together. For my birthday I mostly got some Jackson's art gift cards, but I also got some presents. I got some art supplies, they were from my favourites list so they weren't exactly a surprise, but they were things I desperately wanted. So let me show you what I got. The first thing that I got were these Neo colours. I have wanted Neo colours for so long. I desperately wanted them for so long. I ended up asking for the 15 set. I was looking at the 10 set, but it was very odd. I think it was missing a blue. It was missing one of the key primaries. So the 15 set looks pretty good. It has like a yellow, a red, a blue. It has everything that you would need, which I think the 10 didn't. It was missing one. I absolutely love this pink shade. And I can't wait to try them out. I'm actually going to be swatching them for a separate video which will be coming soon. I also got some singles and I completely forgot that if I got singles they wouldn't fit in the tin so let's just ignore that. I picked out some singles because I felt like there were some colours that I really liked that were missing. It's a good set, it has a lot of bright colours in but I was missing some pastel tones. I picked out this salmon pink because this one initially caught my eye the most and it's so different to anything that's already in the tin. I've actually swatched the ruby red a little bit already and it's such a pretty shade. There's so many other colours that I would like to get but I'll have to see if I actually like these first before ordering any more. Next, I asked for a Daniel Smith tube. This one actually isn't very exciting though, it's a buff titanium but I've wanted one for so long. Whilst my early beginners watercolour set did have a white in, over the last few years I haven't used a white at all in my pieces. I just tend to add more water to make the colours lighter but I feel like using this method I've not been able to get some really nice pastel shades so I picked out this buff titanium to hopefully be able to get some nice neutral shades that I can't necessarily get with just water. And I mean it's definitely not essential, you can easily use water, I have for years, I just wanted to give this a try. The next thing I picked up were these. These are drawing inks, which I'm hoping will be very similar to the black India ink that I used before for Inktober. They're by Windsor & Newton and this set is coloured, so it's three primaries plus a green and I'm hoping to use these for Peachtober. I did quite a bit of research looking into the other options for ink and honestly the others are so expensive. The watercolour inks were like big sets that were about £50 and the acrylic inks were like £5 each per ink bottle. So I ended up going for these as the cheaper alternative and hopefully they'll be as good as the black one that I used last year. Whenever they do a primary set and add a random secondary colour, I don't know why they always add green. I guess it's because people do landscapes, but I would much prefer to have a purple. But anyway, I was hoping to try these and I think they'll be really cool. The last present I opened on my birthday was this. I finally got an art book by Sibylline. I hope I said that name right. I've wanted one for so long and this set is absolutely gorgeous. The book is beautiful and it comes with a nice big print and another print and I got a sticker sheet and also a bookmark. I'm actually going to go through this book in a little bit more detail in future for a different video but it's absolutely gorgeous and I love how the same colour palette is used throughout the entire book in every piece. These are all the presents I opened on my birthday. I'm now going to have a cheeky look on Jackson's and see what I'd like to get. And I'll see you once the order arrives. Look what's arrived. I finally placed an order with Jackson's. They had a Holbein sale, which was great because I was able to pick out some more fancy things. Okay, the first thing I picked up is this. This I've actually picked up for my partner. It's the Still Wanna Burn Alpha sketchbook. I currently have one of these. I have the beta, which I finished, and I have the alpha, but my one is soft cover and it's red. The hardcover one is black. It looks so much bigger than mine. You might have heard me say before on this channel, but I actually prefer the alpha, so it'll be really interesting to give this one a try and see what my partner thinks. You can already see this one, so we've got to have a look. This is the most exciting thing. 
I got this acrylic wash set. I was gonna just get the smaller starter set, but because of the sale, this one wasn't too much more. It is a birthday art haul after all, so I got this huge set. I've never tried acrylic wash before, but I know that Holbein is great. They have heard so many good things. I was originally gonna get a starter set. I think it was like cyan, magenta, and like a yellow. <laughs> But I really love that this set comes with a bigger white rather than just 20 mils. And also you've got the cool and the warm of every shade, which I really love. I can't wait to use these. We're going to be swatching these at the very end. Next I picked up what's in this one. This looks like Holbein. Okay, this is exciting. This is my very first Holbein tube of watercolour. I got Prussian Blue and I was going to get it in Windsor and Newton Cotman, but because of the sale, Holbein was actually a similar price, although it is a little bit smaller. I've got like one tube of the Holbein gouache, but I haven't got any watercolours, so I'm really excited to try this. Next we've got this one. I got another neutral tint because the one I've got at the moment is a really old Cotman one and I've almost finished it but I really love neutral tint. I also thought since I was there I would pick out a really fun shade and this one is pretty unique to Schmincke. Next we've got... this one's heavy. No wonder it's heavy, it's 60 mils, it's so heavy. I got a white Holbein gouache. In my previous haul, I accidentally got a mixing white and it wasn't very opaque, so I wanted to get a nice good white. Because you might have heard me mention, but in my Shein art haul, I wanted to make a pastel jelly gouache palette. Well, not necessarily jelly, but like adding white to the colours I've already got and kind of making like a stay wet palette. And I thought I'd try Holbein this time. I've already got the empty palette and I can't wait to use this to make it. That seemed a little bit extra for this one, but next we've got... It's a classic lemon yellow. I'm actually running out of the one that I've got, but the one that I've got is kind of vintage Cotman. So it'll be really interesting to see if the formulation is different on this one, which I think it will be, unfortunately. And lastly, we've got... Right, that seemed a little bit extra too for this tiny little thing. You know what, this is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It's like the size of my hand, I was kind of expecting it to be like A5. But that's my fault, I didn't check. It's actually adorable though, it's just like a tiny little sketchbook. Now let's swatch the new paint. First we've got buff titanium. And then Lemon Yellow Hue by Windsor and Newton Cotman. That one just kind of fell out. Next, I'm gonna do Helio Turquoise. I think that will kind of be closest to yellow. Oh, look how lovely this shade is. colour has so much granulation but I think it's a little bit more green in real life it kind of comes across blue on camera next we're gonna move on to the Prussian blue and this is the Holbein one well that one came out the easiest so far and the final watercolour is the neutral tint by Schmincke they just come out so easily the Schmincke ones It's definitely leaning a lot more purple. I'll quickly swatch the white gouache as well, but I think we know what to expect here. Yep, it's a white gouache. 
The colours are definitely coming across slightly different on camera, especially the Helio Turquoise, but you can already see the granulation on some of them. This colour is so different to anything that I've got before. I do like the lemon yellow as well. And the Prussian is probably a lot stronger than if I'd have got the Kopman one. The neutral tint does look quite different to what I've currently got. It's a lot more purple, this one, a little bit more brown as well. Now let's move on to the acrylic gouache. How gorgeous do all these swatches look? I can't wait to give this set a try, we'll be doing that in a future video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I got for my birthday and what I bought with the gift cards. We've done quite a few art hauls together now, so I leave the playlist here and down below. There's probably some others there you might like. Have a fantastic rest of your day, make sure you keep drinking water, and I'll see you on Sunday for a new video. Bye bye!